All right, hey, what's up guys? Coach Mack, Play Fest Football. All right, today I'm gonna to be doing a video for you on uh, the differences between two read and quarters. Uh, the video was sent by one of our subscribers in a comment, Lane Ross, so thank you uh, very much, Lane Ross. Also, make sure you check out some of our sponsors, all right, GameStrat, sideline replay system that we use. If you're looking for, all right, a highly reliable, highly affordable sideline replay system with great customer service, make sure you check out GameStrat. Just Play Football is the digital software tools that I use to, to uh, diagram plays if I'm going to speak at any clinics or if I have any webinars that I'm doing with, uh, with any of my other website stuff that I have going on. If I do a webinar, I use all right, Just Play to diagram my football plays. High and Tight, which is a ball security tool. It's actually a football that comes with an auditory device inside, so you have to hold the football with all the right pressure points, and it has to be held all right, in the right manner. Otherwise, you will not make the football beep, and it gives the kids an automatic feedback, so you use it while you're doing drills. That thing has to be beeping while you're doing a drill. If it's not beeping, pressure points aren't right. You don't have the wrist above the elbow. All right, so finally a tool out there to help you all right, teach kids ball security the proper way with an auditory feedback. I think it's an absolutely amazing tool. All right, Defense Coordinator One, which is an in-game app that allows you to make critical in-game adjustments based on actual live in-game data. So you take the guesswork out of your adjustments. You know the, uh, what you're calling, what you think they're running, the formations of personnel. Now you can match up your calls with what they actually ran and make proper adjustments. So if you have a call that you think isn't very good, sometimes you forget. You don't go back to it, but you find out it was really good against two back, but not good against one back. All right, let DC1 help you make all those critical adjustments using live in-game data. Baker Sporting Goods, which is the uh, local sporting goods store I use as my team outfitter. All right, for all my apparel, all the spirit packs, and all the things that I do, all right, make sure you check out Baker Sports. They've been outfitting teams since 1997. And then Dome Hats, which is the official sponsor of Play Fast Football, my headwear sponsor. Here's our white Play Fast hat with the Play Fast logo on the side. All right, uh, sorry, on the back, Dome logo on the side. Okay, you can go to their custom online hat builder at domeheadwear.co. You can generate your own hat, build your own hat. Uh, based on your logo, colors, different panels, uh, different styles of hats. So make sure you check out how custom and, and great uh, the Dome website is to build hats. Every hat has a story. Why don't you let Dome help you tell yours? So uh, Lane Ross brings up a, a really good question. I've done several videos on two reads, several videos on quarters coverage. Um, so Lane, uh, Lane brought up a question about can I describe the difference between two read and quarters? So I'm going to go through and do that. The first thing I think you need to understand, and some people I think, get this confused sometimes. Two read is a variation of quarters. It's an answer in the quarters toolbox. It is not exactly quarters coverage. It's a variation or an, or an adaptation to quarters coverage that helps you handle certain scenarios when you are in quarters. And I'm gonna go through why you need to handle those. So quarters coverage, all right, is, is a way to get, uh, it's a way to get two safeties involved in a run game. It's a way to get uh, a nine man front if possible, or nine guys tied into the run game to get extra numbers. All right, but it's also what, what a lot of people, I think, sometimes don't understand about quarters coverage was it was also uh, developed for, for two very particular reasons. Number one was when teams had uh, a lot of option football and, and, and a lot of run game and, and teams wanted to find out a way to get an extra guy in the box, but then play action passes and sneak in a tight end vertical was starting to hurt people and they didn't want to play man all the time. So quarters was kind of developed as a pattern match defense that allows you to play a safety off of an attached tight end, which is the way it was originally built to be played with a safety off an attached tight end who can read if that tight end blocks, he can get involved in a run game and get an extra helmet. But if that tight end releases in the passing game and goes vertical, that free safety is ready to handle that vertical route. So now you won't get beat or you won't have any seam integrity issues because the vertical route by that number two attached tight end is being handled by a guy that's ready to play him man. But also if that tight end were to put his hands on the seven or the six whatever technique you consider all right seven eight nine or six or whatever the technique is right now i've got him drawn up what i would call a seven inside eye at a tight end if that tight end puts his hands on the seven technique that frees that free safety to now come down and be part of the run game because his read for his vertical pass assignment has put his hands on the, on the defensive end so if he puts his hands on a defensive end to block he probably can't beat you vertically all right, unless he puts his hands on him and then decides to release late. But if he puts his hands on a tight end, we can now get involved in a run game, which gives us that extra fitter. So in order to do that, we need a curl flat player that can handle number two going to the flat. So that's where the Sam linebacker is drawn up right here. Sam linebacker would be the curl flat player that's going to handle two to the flat or any wheel of two. And then we need our corner to be an all-of-one man player, except for shallow cross. And then if we get any underneath 
uh, hitch routes or short routes. We'll make all right, China calls or, or, or uh, different calls to tell that uh, Sam linebacker that somebody's out there in the flat, and then that corner will kind of all right, uh, bail off and help a possible corner out to help the free safety with two vertical. All right, and then we have a Mike that's a hook to curl player that is uh, a hook to curl player, and he's got to match the final three verticals. So when we talk about route distribution or pattern matching, we're talking about how we match them when the patterns then evolve. So right now from outside in, we know that the wideouts one, the tight ends two, and somebody in the backfield is three and then possibly four strong. But when those patterns then distribute, we have to relate to the final ones and we have to have vertical all right, responsibility. So we have to understand that what we're really looking for all right, is we got to get four on three in that passing game. And that's right. Right now we've got the corner, the Sam, the free safety, and the Mike as our four on three of them. If they push both back strong to make four strong, we've got to get another backer or a backside safety over there. Otherwise, we're going to run out of numbers. All right, so versus a tight end attached, quarters gives us a very simple way, all right, to play an aggressive. We can play aggressive man on one, all right. We can play the vertical of two while playing aggressively with an extra hat in the run game because if, if two is a tight end and he blocks, we can get involved in a run game. If two goes vertical, we can play him. But then the big thing with quarters that a lot of people forget sometimes is it also gives you a way to double team the other team's number one receiver. So in the NFL, a lot of the times, if this is the flanker or the Z receiver, you know, back in the day, that might have been a Jerry Rice. Okay, he might have been a Z or an X. But the bottom line is to the, to the strong side where the Z flanker is, this player right here, if we get any underneath or flat release by the tight end, our free safety is now going to rob the post dig curl of number one. So now we get a double on one of the other team's best players. So when you talk about quarters coverage, at least when I talk about quarters coverage, what we're talking about is we're talking about pattern matching. We're talking about playing man on a receiver, being able to double team that receiver. We can play that receiver in press man or off man. We're getting an extra safety, all right, if not two extra safeties, depending on whether we're playing quarter, quarter, half, or true quarters in the run game that they're going to make aggressive reads on a vertical threat. If that vertical threat blocks somebody, we're going to get them involved in the run game, so we're going to get extra helmets to the run game. So we got pattern match, extra helmets in the run game, vertical threats taken care of, no seam issues, okay? And then we've also got the potential to double team uh, uh, the Z receiver, which is sometimes when I talk to people, that's why for us, our outside linebacker has to play the wheel of number two. We do not allow the corner to play the wheel of number two. And one of the reasons is because when we get the wheel by two, we want to rob the post aid curl of the Z number one receiver. So if, if I have to trade off the wheel to the corner and maybe the post or dig or something else to the free safety, I end up in all one-on-one -on -one matchups. I'm trying to get a double team out of this if I can based on a release of number two. All right, that's why I really like quarter. So where did two read come from? All right, here's where a two read came about. Team started playing with detached number two receivers. Okay, so you got to think of your quarters rules now. And I'm just, I won't drop the front, I'll just drop the coverage. In quarters rules, you have an outside linebacker that is responsible for two to the flat. So he's always got to be aligned outside of him. Okay, you've got your mic and the wheel in the box. Your free safety has to be able to play two vertical. Well, if number two is removed, okay, if number two is removed, he has to put himself in a position to play two vertical, so he has to now remove himself. Your field corner is either playing press man, off man, whatever you want to talk about. Right now, that's the only, really, we're only going to look about, look at the four for three on that side. All right, so the first thing you need to understand is why did two read come about? All right, forget about the coverage part of it and think about this first. If we want to play quarters to a number two detached and we want to play quarters the right way with no adjustments to it, we've got to put the Sam linebacker outside of number two. The free safety has to widen because he has to play, all right, the vertical of number two. So what they have done is they've given us some run fit issues. The Sam linebacker, who was the fourth player in the defense, is now all the way outside the number two detached. And the free safety, who was the ninth player in the box giving us an extra helmet, is walked out because he's got the vertical responsibility of two. You can't ask the free safety to play two vertical from where he was playing quarters when two was a tight end. So now your free safety's walked out. Your Sam linebacker's walked out. You've got a big, big window with no extra fitter coming versus a two-back set where they can ISO the Mike linebacker. All right, so the reason two read was developed was because there was a run fit issue to two removed playing quarters defense. So 
teams that were playing quarters defense, if they wanted to stay in the true theory of quarters, this two removed gave them a lot of issues because of the alignment. Again, if I want to play true quarters, I've got to have the Sam outside of two, field corner ready to play man on one, the free safety in a position to play, again, two vertical, but yet also possibly add an extra helmet into the run game. That's very hard to do from out there. All right. Plus, I'm not going to get the same reads as I got in the run game because instead of two being attached, two is a detached receiver, so my eyes are actually looking. If I'm the free safety, my eyes are looking out there at number two. So I'm going to be real late to the run game. The Sam linebacker is outside of two. He's going to be real late to the run game. Yes, he can force the ball, but when he forces it back inside to where the mic is, how are we going to get that extra player in there? So two read came about as a pattern match Adapt, adaptation or variation to quarters because what two read does is we play our Sam inside as an apex player all right and there's our mic and now what we do is we play a read concept between all right the two read is actually played between the corner and the safety all right they are gonna read the number two receiver okay and depending on what the number two receiver does, that's how we are going to dictate what the coverage is going to become. All right? So if in, in quarters coverage, remember, who is responsible for two to the flat? Sam linebacker. When I put the Sam linebacker inside, I can't make him responsible for two to the flat. So now I have to be able to handle two to the flat. So any two to the flat underneath linebacker level is going to be played by our corner and the coverage Basically, with two to the flat, the coverage becomes, and this is one of the other reasons it, it's called two read, all right? Not only are we reading number two, but two to the flat makes this part of the coverage very simply become cover two. So as soon as two goes to the flat, this side of the coverage becomes cover two because my corner plays two to the flat and my free safety has to get over the top of number one. All right, so that's one of the reasons it's called two read. Yes, we're reading number two, but we're also turning the coverage into cover two based on what that number two receiver does, okay? If that number two receiver wanted to go vertical, my free safety, if he gets vertical past the linebacker depth, my free safety is gonna play that man. So now we don't have any seam issues or any integrity issues because if he goes vertical, we're playing a man. If two goes vertical, the field corner is gonna play number one man. All right, except for shallows and underneath things. Okay, if two goes inside across the formation, now we have a chance to take the free safety and we game plan them with what we want to do. All right, we can rob the post a curl of one like we did earlier. All right, we can look to the other side of the formation because a lot of times if you get shallow from this guy, you'll get dig coming from that receiver over there so we can game plan from that inside release from that free safety we can game plan all right what we want to do in our two read coverage but here's the real thing that you got to look at all right and guys ask all the time about the difference in coverage here's the biggest difference in two reading quarters it is allowing us to play the sam linebacker inside of two as an apex player okay and technically he's the force defender in the defense and now in the passing game, he's what we call a swing deep of three player. All right, and, and we kind of call it, all right, he's, he's a, a curl player until something pulls him to the flat is basically what it is. And if three were to run a wheel, he's got to run with the wheel, swing deep of three. So he's a curl player unless something brings him to the flat. If nothing brings him to the flat, he's going to try and sit inside of two in the curl. All right. If two goes under, he's going to try and get under one in the curl. The only thing that's going to bring him out of the curl is a three going to the flat. So he's a curl player until something pulls him to the flat. All right? The mic is, is what we call a three dropper. The mic still has number three vertical. Okay? He still has number three if he goes vertical. He's a three dropper. And what we call is he's a hook player until something pulls him to the curl. So we want him to drop tight to the hook until something pulls him into the curl window, all right? And, and the Sam is a curl player until something pulls him to the flat. What that now does is that gives us a situation versus the run where with the apex Sam, he's underneath number two, all right? So he's closer to the box to help. So now the, will, the mic can spill the ball to the Sam, 
If the Sam gets blocked by the number two receiver, our free safety will replace where the Sam is. So we have a natural crack replaceability there if two, is, if two blocks the Sam because the Sam is inside. So what it allows us to do as an adaptation variation or an answer in our quarters toolbox, it allows us to be a quarters team and then make a simple adjustment when teams go with a two removed. All right, two read is not quarters coverage. By definition, by rule, the rules are completely different. It is not quarters coverage. What it is is an adaptation, a variation, an answer to help you as a quarters coverage team so that you can play quarters coverage and carry it as a base coverage and have answers when teams do other things. So when a number two comes out to be detached, all right, if you're a quarters team, you check to two read. So now what you do is you just let your kids, all right, for us, we just let our kids play formations if they come out with an attached tight end and a flanker, our kids know right away, if we get an attached tight end and a, and a flanker, our kids know we're going to play quarters coverage, and they know how to line up to play quarters coverage, and we just make a quarters call, right? So we make a base defense call. I don't have to call quarters. I don't have to call two read or palms. I don't have to call any of that. I just call base defense. They come out with a tight end and a flanker, our kids know that they're going to make a quarters call. If they come out with a two removed, could we still play quarters? We most certainly could still play quarters, and there are times where we will choose to do so. Okay, But remember, if we wanted to play quarters to two removed, that's going to put the Sam there, the Mike there, the free safety there, the field corner there. Look at this big, huge window where we have run fit issues. Okay, So our kids know that if we want to play base defense and they come out in two removed, our kids right away go right to... We just say palms, which is two read for us. So our kids just come right out and make a palms check to a two detached. All right, so what it is is two read is a variation or an adaptation to quarters coverage. It is not quarters coverage. It's something that you carry in your toolbox, in your quarters toolbox, so that as a quarters team, when teams come out and run a ton of different formations, you have simple answers to check to. Two read is the variation or the adaptation that we check to from quarters coverage. Two read is not quarters coverage. I hope this video helps you out. All right, Lane, thank you for the question. I hope the video helps you out understanding the difference between two read and quarters. Biggest thing I'm going to tell you when you think about it, think about it from a run fit issue first before you even think about it from a coverage standpoint. Everybody talks about coverages from coverage standpoints. I think you need to talk about them from run fit standpoint. So please look at it from a run fit issue before a coverage issue. All right, thanks to our sponsors, GameStrat, Just Play, High and Tight, DC1, Baker Sports Domes. I appreciate everything you guys do for Play Fast. Make sure you click that subscribe button, like button, comment on the videos, turn your notifications on so you know the next time we do a video or go live. All right, uh, I appreciate all that you've done for me during this pandemic, answering Twitter questions. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast, and I'll see you next time.